making your mindset for this entrepreneur journey is the biggest challenge. The last two years, the next two years are the best to build your product in AI space. After working hours, right, so there is no customer support, AI agent will come and be in the phone system. It can actually do the actions as well. Booking, it can cancel appointments, and it will go straight to your software. I'm your host, Kripa Anand, and you're watching our exclusive series, AI for SMEs where we spotlight the transformative power of artificial intelligence for SMEs in Canada. For the smaller ones, it's really good that they can provide good customer service and the missed opportunities. The next stage, I would say, is gonna be so natural and human. Welcome to the Canadian SME Small Business Podcast. I'm your host, Kripa Anand, and you're watching our exclusive series, AI for SMEs, where we spotlight the transformative power of artificial intelligence for SMEs in Canada. In this series, we are diving into how AI is shaping the future of work, redefining productivity, and offering real ROI for startups and businesses ready to embrace innovation. Joining us today is Vishal Garg, co-founder and CTO of Kickhall AI and Blue Bash Consulting. Vishal's journey from a small village in India to building a global IT services company and now a Canadian AI startup is a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit. With a B.Tech and M.Tech in computer science, he has consistently held CTO roles, guiding companies through technological shifts and building scalable, future-ready products. So before further ado, let's welcome the special guest. Vishal, welcome to the podcast. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Now, you know, uh, I'd love for our listeners to understand what your background has been. How did your entrepreneurial journey start? And what challenges did you face when you, uh, you know, joined the TDBC team? How did it change your journey? So, I mean, since I started, there are a lot of challenges that I have faced. One of the biggest challenge was the mind shift, right? Because sitting in a cubicle, working alone, uh, working on some projects is a different story and then after that like making your mindset for this entrepreneur journey is is the biggest challenge right I, I think that's the most important decision of my life and once I did that I think things started happening by itself and uh, I remember when starting a blue bash so we had our challenges to hire a uh, different workforce, setting up the departments, getting customers and the balance is very important for sure like if if you're getting a sales right you don't have people to work so then it's a challenge right yes so that that the process is very continuous right so you have to improve day by day and uh, also you have to do a lot of things by yourself and then you make replicas of yourself and this is how it started and mm -hmm. recently uh once we uh, incubated to tbdc so yeah. that's also uh, the new journey, the product journey has been started. Mm -hmm. And I have seen uh, that six months that we got in uh, TBDC when we landed here is very critical in our journey because at that point, we stepped back a little bit and started thinking about like what's next, what right. what to research. So this is, this is very uh, critical time. And, you know, the AI is changing, right? So the last two years, the next two years are the best to build your product in AI space. So that uh, the TBDC, the mentorship was really good. Mm. And uh, I think, yeah, so that's all started our um, AI journey in the kick call. Uh, but overall, the experience uh, in working in this North American industry uh, is, is from the beginning because mm. since we started our uh, Blue Bash, so we've been dealing with all of the customers from the North America. So we understand uh, the market already. We understand the... Uh, the requirements culture, that the clients yes, have. Yes, yes the cultural uh, understanding mm. how the healthcare works, mm. right? How, how other industries work. So, so a lot of things actually uh, given us an edge to start our product and, and get into the pace. 
Wow. That's an incredibly practical and impactful application of AI, firstly, Vishal. Uh, it's clear that, you know, uh, you're solving a major pain point for businesses that are still reliant on manual processes. That's amazing to know. Now, moving ahead, Vishal, how exactly is voice AI streamlining the fronted operations? How is it helping the SMEs out there cut their costs, reduce their time that is being spent on that? How are you automating that entire thing? So as a kick call, so we are like a voice AI platform. Mm. So we automate uh, the voice conversations over the phone. So right now, as, as we started with the healthcare industry, so when we started uh, with this idea and uh, the main uh, thing that we looked at, like how, how the existing systems are working and, and, and what are the different use cases. I, I interviewed a lot of uh, healthcare clinics over here mm -hmm. uh, to actually understand like what's the major pain that they have, right? So I get to know, first of all, uh, after working hours, right? So there is no customer support, right? Everything goes to the voicemail and the next day, uh, front desk uh, person has to come and listen all the voicemails and at the same Take time- messages yes, and- Yeah. And, and attend the uh, new calls as well, mm -hmm. right? So first, uh, very good example and uh, very good use case was this one mm -hmm. where AI agent will come and uh, be in the phone system, right? So whenever Even you when call- when you are not available, exactly. AI is still there. Yeah, it's gonna uh, answer all the FAQs. And also now our platform is like more agentic, so it can actually do the actions as well, right? Mm -hmm. So it can do booking, mm -hmm. it can it can cancel appointments, right? And it will go straight to your uh, software. Software. Yeah, so whether you're okay. using EHR, EMR, mm -hmm. or a CRM. So it's mm -hmm. it, it goes directly to it there. So now there are like different sizes uh, of businesses have a different benefit, right? For the smaller ones, it's really good that they can provide and and um, a good customer service and the missed opportunities, right? For example, uh, if you if you take an example of any plumbing business, right? Yeah. If someone is calling you like after after hours, if you're not attending that call, they're gonna call someone else, right? right. So that's a missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Yeah. So that business is going to someone else. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the one of the use case. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the larger uh, clinics or the chains or the businesses, mm -hmm. right, where there is a lot of uh, customer service they have to perform a here this ai can actually complement it right so it mm. can handle a lot of calls mm. and it's kind of do the screening of all the calls right and escalate all only the calls which it requires a human assistance right 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 wow that is so creative and you know this is the requirement in today's day and time if you are sleeping there's someone else who is working on your behalf and you know doing the needful so thank you so much for sharing that with us hello canadian entrepreneurs are you looking for a better way to manage your front-end operations book appointments and improve customer service learn from vishal garg co-founder and cto of kickall ai about how voice ai can transform your business make it more efficient and help you get ahead in a competitive market now let's continue our conversation with Vishal. Now moving ahead, Vishal, how is you know your partnerships and compliances helping you guys go ahead and create that trust in the community? So since we started, right? So our uh, the whole goal uh, was on the distribution side because building in these AI solutions are like very common nowadays. Yeah. I've seen a lot of platforms are offering it. But the real challenge that we have seen and uh, understood was the distribution, right? Because when it comes to uh, providing end-to-end -end solution, right, it, it requires your VOIP provider, it requires your EHR, EMR, any CRM that you're using, and then it comes to the business, right? Mm -hmm. So like there are different pieces over there. And for example, if you go to any clinic, right, and who is the first point of contact for them? Like the the VoIP MSPs from there, they bought their phone, right? Yes. And they're continuously giving them a service, right? So there we started our partner-led approach. Mm. So instead of just directly going to the businesses, mm. we are going there to understand the use cases and everything. But at the same time, we all also started the wide level solution where these MSPs can actually uh, sell this solution to their customers, right? So wow. building that whole... Uh, network mm. of partners, whether it's uh, it's a EHR, it's a CRM, it's a VoIP MSP. So everything uh, 
comes under one hood and delivering the one solution uh, to a business is is becoming a really easy so that's that's where our this partner led approach comes into the picture and uh, for sure like our first industry where we kind of uh, uh, mostly working is a healthcare because we had a lot of healthcare experience and we understand the compliances as the major aspect when serving to the uh, yeah. clinics or any any covered entities in the healthcare right for example hipaa ppda right. soc2 so these are essentials right okay. when you wanted to deal in the healthcare so we have done that and that actually gives us a really good edge where we kind of uh, gain a trust from our uh, customers mm. and uh, can seamlessly provide our uh, product services Wow, that is such beautifully articulated. Firstly, Vishal, and definitely these partnerships are going to take voice AI to that next level in life. Uh, thank you for highlighting that. All right, it's time for a quick break right here, but don't go anywhere. When we return, Vishal will share insights on the AI revolution and what it means for tech leaders and front end operations. Hey, you think you know UPS? Yeah, that's us. Everybody knows that. You know what you didn't know? This. Okay, try to keep up. Ocean, us. Ground, rail, air, so us. Guess who? Us. Customs cleared, borders cleared, done. Us, us. You still with me? Wait for it. Boom. Us. Intelligent, automated fulfillment. Us. Yep. Healthcare too. Digital your thing? Yeah. Well, book it, ship it, track it. You feeling me yet? Yep. That's all us. That's all UPS. Welcome back listeners. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Let's continue our conversation with Vishal. With so many changes and you know AI now transforming this industry at such a speed, what's next for Voice AI? And uh, please go ahead and share the long-term vision that you have for this company. Okay, so yes, so since AI is just a newborn, right? It's a couple of years since yeah. uh, it started incorporating into all of the softwares. Now you see every software, you see some some sort of AI in it, right? Whether it's a content generation, whether it's a voice AI, chatbots, right? So Literally. pretty much it's, it's kind of uh, going at really good pace, right? Especially talking about the voice AI. Mm -hmm. I see right now we are at the stage where it's it's more like agentic now. It started doing the booking, right? It's right. kind of right. right. But the next stage, I would say, like uh, right now, still I I feel there is a, uh, a scope of more yeah, a lot of improvements, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Gaining more more real use case uh, um, scenarios mm -hmm. that uh, AI agent can handle, and also I can imagine that, for example. Uh, going further, like as as the AGI is coming, everyone is talking about, right? So these conversations gonna be so natural and human, right? And it's gonna seamlessly work uh, behind the scene as well, like automating your workflows, right? So it is transforming at really good speed. Yeah. And the vision that we have, like till the point when this all all gonna set up like everything is stable right everything yeah. is working fine at that point we have this our key call ai which is already set the uh, industry network and everything and and keep on scaling so our vision is to actually uh, make sure that we provide our voice ai to every business at affordable and and with a good quality Wow, love that vision. Definitely, as I said, voice AI uh, is going to get that success definitely at the pace that you're going on right now. Uh, but Pashal, uh, what do you think is that one thing that that is your unique selling point that no other company is doing other than you? In one word. Yeah, for sure. It's an end-to-end solution, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's uh, when we go to the business, so like on a couple of clicks, actually they can 
have their system ready right because wow. we have a VIP partner yeah, yeah, yeah we have the integrations with us so it's like an end to end solution that's, that's, that's amazing that's amazing definitely you know uh, we'll do more collaborations with voice ai in the coming future but for now before we let you go vishal if there's one piece of final advice that you have for our listeners today something that you want them to remember about using technology using ai and specifically something that they remember about voice ai what would you tell them uh, i mean first of all uh, the key learnings i would uh, like to share right so when we as as i'm from the technology background right as an engineer my mind start thinking about like technologies and the implementation right but for the new uh, entrepreneurs it's very important uh, to make sure that you give right amount of uh, time to the sales and getting uh the customers right so that's equally important as your technology right sometimes like i have done some mistakes like doing some over engineering sometimes <laughs> and after that i have to clean this yeah. but uh in the end if you if you if you make the right balance and uh, have a continuously um step by step approach where you kind of improving that's that's uh, something uh, will take you the next level and uh, about all the industries smes in canada i would say that uh, uh right now ai is getting into every piece of software right every piece of uh, um things that you see so the main thing i would say is adaptation right so i have seen a lot of uh, people or businesses kind of uh, hesitating like using an ai yeah. but i think it's a right time start uh, experimenting seeing how it's it can be fit to your business and and can take you uh, further uh, and uh, have a good uh, value to your business whether it's a competitive advantage or or is a cost cutting yeah. so it's it's more about like uh, adaptation for smes whether it's in yeah. a technology field right or it's in a small uh, businesses that's so beautifully put vishal uh, and just lastly uh, if they want to find more about your business what where should they learn more about it your website okay so our website is uh, www.kickcall.ai so we have everything available there our roadmap our our releases our uh, status like what's going on some of the videos explaining how we do and what we do wow. so you can check so, out on our website so they can go ahead and learn more about voice ai that's amazing that was vishal garg you guys thank you so much for being on this podcast it was a pleasure having you thank you very much all right that was an insightful conversation with vishal garg co-founder and cto of kickall ai on his entrepreneurial journey how voice ai is transforming front desk operations what makes kickall ai stand out and his vision for the future of voice ai and front end operations to all of our listeners thank you so much for tuning in to the canadian sme small business podcast we really appreciate your continued support be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more expert insights and resources that can help your business thrive also don't forget to visit our website canadiansme.ca And lastly a very special thank you to our podcast partners RBC UPS A1 Global College ADB and Google for their ongoing commitments to empowering small businesses in Canada until next time keep innovating and striving for success and we'll see you in the next episode Kripa Anand signing off <laughs>